Hello, I'm Tim Wheeler. I'm one of the spiritual care practitioners here at Ashgate Hospice. Welcome to Coping with Christmas. I've been chatting to some people around the hospice and finding out their top tips for dealing with Christmas. First one is, be honest with yourself. What is it you want to do this Christmas? And in other words, what is it you don't want to do? Make your own mind up. Don't let other people tell you what you ought to be doing. Some people like to go away. Some people go away to a hotel or go and uh, hire a flat somewhere or and go and visit a relative. Some people want to be on their own and that's okay too. And some people just want to be with family. Another big tip everybody said was lower your expectations. You really don't have to write 100 cards. Just send cards to the people that you really care about and are close to. Other people will understand. Do you know what? You don't have to cook a whopping great turkey. Several of the people said, go and order yourself a really lovely special ready meal. That's what suited them. Make a plan of the activities you want to do on Christmas Day. You might want to read a good book or you might want to go for a walk. You may even want to just do the accounts. Whatever it is, make your choice. Some people say, no, I don't want the old routines. I want to make new traditions. And a couple of the people we spoke to who'd lost a loved one said one of the new traditions that they'd set up at Christmas was to go and visit the graveside of the person that he loved, who they'd lost. And they wanted to go and talk with them and just to touch base with them. That's a lovely new tradition. So there are our five top tips for coping with Christmas. <laughs>